Hey everybody, it is Roche Ball, y'all. I'm at work. I'm waiting to get out. I always got makeup on the collar of my shirt. That's why I had to look. But I'm waiting to clock out right now. I'm just checking my area to make sure everything is done. It's really quiet because the, the summer break and the students are not here. Only a very few students are here for um, summer school. But anyway, um, let me come up in this classroom real quick. So I feel like I'm going to have to, I feel like I have to whisper. All right. Um, yeah. So, um, guess what? For those of you who know me, for those of you who've been following me, and maybe even those who watch my um, YouTube channel who are followed me on um, IG, you guys know I like to change my hairdo, and I'm ready to take these braids out. So this weekend I have a big project because I'm trying to, because my braids went from medium size, kind of long, to this size. And I use most of the same hair, you know, so that I only bought one pack to kind of like speed up the process. And I look at it. Now you may think, you finna change that already, girl? What? I may leave it in for one more week, but if so, I gotta do something with the ends because I don't like the way this looks. Look, that is horrible. Let me show you. Look, at that is horrible. Horrible. And all the crinkles that I had, remember I showed you guys in my video when they were long? I was like, I don't wanna lose that crinkle. How it looks right here. That crinkle, that's how you should look at the end. So if I keep my braids this small, maybe for one or two more weeks, I'm going to try my best to keep these braids in for a long time. It'll be a, like a record for me. I, I, you know, I know I said in the beginning of the video that I was going to change my braids and I have a big project to do, but I don't think I'm going to take them out. You know, I may just leave them in because this is not really what I consider like, okay, it's time to take them out, you know. But my concern with having braids for a long time, whether they big or small, is number one, I don't like to have the same hairdo for more than like a week sometimes, and maybe more than two weeks. And number two, I don't really wash my hair a lot with braids, all because it's like, I don't like the way the wet braids feel on my skin. And plus it's just like, it, I don't let it dry properly and it starts stinking. And I don't, I don't have time for that. So, um, and plus the third thing is um, my edges. Whatever edges I have left, is getting pulled by my constant pulling of my hair. So even if I'm not putting it in a ponytail, I'm kind of going like this. And sometimes I sleep with my hair in a very messy bun. And it depends on how I lay down, all the hair is going on this side, which could break off my edges for life. And I don't want that. So I think I might keep it in for maybe one or two more weeks. I told myself I was going to just wear braids for the whole summer and then take it out and do something else and then kind of put braids in for a month or so and then take it out. But for the whole summer, I do want to stick with braids. I have to because it's like I don't want to go back in because as soon as I take out my braids, and this has been my pattern for years. I've been braiding my hair ever since I was 15 years old. I've been doing my whole head ever since I was 11. But as soon, as soon as I take out my braids, I go straight to ponytails. And that's not doing nothing good for my edges either. So if anybody have any good, 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 good solutions to how I can restore my edges. Because my hair used to start right here. I remember when I was in seventh grade, my hair, when I was in seventh grade, I had edges. I had edges. Now I'm edgeless. So if anybody know a good oil, a good grease or something that I can be consistent with. Because with the black castor oil and all that, it works, but I'm not really consistent with it. I just, I'm, I just don't want my edges to start back here. Because then I'm going to have to, you know, I'll be very ashamed to put my hair in a ponytail. And I mean, I have to get, I have to wear wigs and get frontals and all that. So, um, so yeah, I guess I can do more down hairdos and lazy bun hairdos when I have these braids. But it's just, uh, then when it start getting new growth up here, my thing with my issue with that is the braids will get stuck together. Like the two new growth of these two braids may get stuck together and then it's just like it's not really good for your hair that's why I, uh, I was told if going natural don't get micro braids if you're going natural don't get small braids like mine if you're going natural because um i don't know maybe it might do do some damage to the root i don't know but i don't like the way the end of my braids look so what i was going to do is if i'm going to keep these braids i have to maintain them i'm going to cut them i'm going to cut them i'm going to go ahead and cut the ends because it looks very raggedy and I'm gonna dip them. I have to I have to do something, or I can try to braid all of these braids all the way down. Look at that. All the way down, but I don't wanna do that. So, yeah, that's the story about that. 
I was going to be like, okay, you know what? I'm going to start taking out my braids today. And then I'm going to take out the rest of my braids. Really crack down. Take out my braids. The rest of my braids tomorrow. And, um. So, Saturday. All my braids will be out. And I can just start putting in my, um, Solange braids. With a pack of hair that I got. Or with the hair that I got from, um. Uh, with the hair that I got from. That I bought from AliExpress. Um, or when these get nappy, I can slowly and slowly, slowly but surely take them out, wash my hair, let it air dry, put my essential oils and creams and leave-in conditioners or whatever I have in it, and then start braiding again. But this time big, so that way I can, won't be so <sighs> to take them out. Like, who's going to help me take these out? Me. Um, but yeah. So that's what I'm going to do with my hair. I think I might just go ahead and leave it in and just really maintain them and just really take care of them. And I, as hot as it's been, I might as well just wash them. I might as well just go ahead and wash them. And just make sure that they are properly dry so they won't stink. Because the first thing I want to do is, I don't like it, it's annoying. And then I put my hair below the ponytail. But not realizing that it's still wet up here. So that's been my whole thing as to why I never keep braids for a long time you know because I don't like to wash them because the edges get pulled too tight and I've already have any and plus I like to change my hair too often so yeah okay you guys I'm in a dilemma and to me it can either be a good dilemma or a bad dilemma I hate when I dig in my eye and I have eyeliner on it's gonna make me look like I have a raccoon eye anyway Okay, so today is my appointment to register for fall semester. It is the 13th of June, 2019, and at 4.30, I have an appointment to come in and start doing a fee waiver and registering for my classes for fall. I am in a dilemma because I think my fall semester starts at the end of August, I believe, and all the way until sometimes January, sometimes, or maybe December. Um... But I'm in this huge dilemma sort of kind of thing because um, we're supposed to be moving soon. Or right now we're just talking about it. It's, everything is on the table. Nothing's really set in stone. And our ideal month is September. Would it make sense for me to go ahead and pick my classes now for the fall semester here? Or just wait? Not do anything, not spend any money on supplies and materials and campus fees and the fee waiver, whatever, and not spend any money on anything and just wait till I get up to where I'm going to move to and then find a school over there and then just start fresh for the spring. Should I do that? Because it's like, I'm thinking, okay, well, until something is set in stone, let me just go ahead and do my, you know, regularly scheduled program and just, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep these braids. Every time I want to take my braids out, I always find a cute hairdo. But anyway, or should I just enroll in school? But I don't want to leave in the middle of the semester because I don't. that's going to look bad. You know what I mean? You know how they say, like, don't keep calling off, go to work sick, and let them send you home? I don't want to pay all that money to be in class just to leave in the middle of the semester. And then it's like, that's just going to look bad. So I'm, like, leaning more towards go to school anyway. Or, and then it's like apartment is like, but I'm gonna spend all that money getting supplies, campus campus um, fees, um, you know, getting up back and forth. I'm gonna be so tired because the classes that I want is Thursday, Tuesday and Thursday. One of the art classes that I want is Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 to 1.45. And I need that sleep in those hours. I was in class last spring because I had took the first half of the art class last spring. And it was from, um, what was it? We did 11 to 12. I think we did 11 to 1.30. But everybody pretty much left at like, was getting ready to go like at 1.15. So my thing was like, I was falling asleep in class. So when he gave us a break, I was falling asleep on my break. I'm like, oh my God, I gotta get back up and go. You know what I mean? So I know how I am with my sleep. So I think it would be best for me not to just go to school just to leave and spend all that money and just to leave in the middle of the semester or just you know I don't want to do that because oh um I just want to make sure the guy on the radio wasn't calling for anybody or anything in my area anyway um I don't want to leave in the middle because it's gonna make it look bad hold on it's gonna make it look bad you know what I mean so I rather just deal with it 
credits and union, union units that I've already been doing so I can transfer to whatever school I'm going to go to when I move. So, yeah, on that. I know it's been too much to take in, uh, what I said first. I started talking about braids, and now I'm talking about school. But I just have to ask that because it's like I've been really struggling with that for a couple of days. And today is my appointment. So should I just, like, not go? Because I just don't want to leave in the middle of it. I think that's rude. So, I don't know. Okay, really quick, I want to show you guys what I've been drinking lately. Um, I just started drinking a lot of water lately. But this... This is my stuff right here. I'm sorry. I love the XXX. Um, what is it called? Acai blueberry pomegranate. This is my favorite flavor of the vitamin water. And I get two big ones like this for $3.50. Oh, my gosh. And I cannot stop drinking that. And it's been helping me not drink soda. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to. Like I said, I can stop drinking soda. But it's like if somebody say I can't have juice. Or if somebody say that there's too much stuff in vitamin water. Or too much stuff in whatever is too much with high fruit, fruit source corn syrup and all these Arizonas and all that, I would lose my mind. I won't be able to do just plain water. I gotta have like a little something fruity. That's why some people say, well, you should detox your waters and put like um, sliced fruit in it, um, citrus fruits or whatever, or just plain do those crystal light packet things for your waters. But I never did like that because I don't know why I always felt like crystal light had like a, um, a weird aftertaste, like diet aftertaste. I don't like that. So, um, this is what I've been drinking. I've been drinking more of this, actually. Um, the last time I had soda is my mom had bought me some ginger ale, and I finished that. What was that? Um, I think on Monday, I finished that. No, no, Tuesday. I finished that. That's it. And I've been drinking vitamin water and water. So, this is the second day I'm going without soda, and I'm very proud of myself. Let's just see if I can go the rest of the week without it because it's not really going to hydrate you as much as water or stuff like this and getting your electrolytes with um like those pedialyte drinks and um gatorade powerade um and all of that so and water mainly water 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 and look as far i bought this last night before i started work and i started work at midnight and look how far i got because i've been mostly drinking this this was brand new and i put it in the freezer so yeah, I got to finish that before I go home. Um, I really don't have to finish this, but I just want to. But I definitely got to finish this before I go home. So I'm going to let um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been drinking because it's been really hot out here in the valley lately. And I'm not trying to pass out. And I don't want to be in the hospital. And they tell me that, oh, I'm suffering from de dehydration or whatever. And I heard this water is pretty good too. Um, with the um, alkaline or whatever's in it. Um, I don't know. But yeah, so I heard this water's good. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and drink this and um, stop playing around and babysitting. All right, see ya. This weather is going through some mental issues, and I say that because it was hot as <laughs> the last past two days. And now the weather looks gloomy, the sun is not out, and it's a little bit breezy. It's nippy. It's a bit nippy. And I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so um, I'm on my way. I just got out of work. I'm on my way to Target. I got to pick up a few things because I'm not going to like doing nothing this weekend. This weekend, I'm devoting time to sleep. Now, Mark, now listen to the fact that I said it. Watch me be on camera talking some. I didn't get no sleep this weekend, you guys. Every time I try to devote time to get sleep, I never do. I'm always trying to go somewhere. No, I'm getting sleep this weekend. I'm tired of getting up early, and I'm tired of um, being so sluggish and restless and all of that On when I come back to work on for Monday mornings. I don't like that. And then now you've got, like, bosses and directors walking around to make sure nobody is asleep, which I heard my nephew say. I don't know if that's in different cultures, but, you know, if they catch you sleeping, that means they see how devoted you are to your work. You must be tired from doing all this work, right? So go to sleep. It should be honored. Come on. Anyway, but I don't want to end up being sluggish at work and falling asleep on a job because when I was, then, when I was uh, typing, putting my time in in front of the computer, I was falling asleep. Then I was trying to look for classes and then I was falling asleep. So I said, let me get up. Let me shake myself. Let me go do something. So I have to devote this weekend to getting some sleep. 
Yes, I'm going to get up to take a shower, wash my face, brush my teeth, use the bathroom, eat, and then I have to go back to sleep. I have to. I really have to. Uninterrupted sleep. I don't care what's going on. I got to get some sleep because it's starting to affect my freaking health. I don't know if you guys out there work overnight and y'all think y'all can do it. Y'all tell yourself y'all can do it. Now, some can. I don't want to put it back. I don't want to, you know, discredit nobody's strength. But I can't. I've been working overnight since 2013. I cannot. So I'm on my way to Target. I'm going to go pick up a few things. I'd rather take care of all my business now. Because on the weekend, but when I get home on Friday, I'm going to get my nails done. And then I got to go straight to bed. Because I'm not, I'm not this stand-up stuff. Like I feel like I'm going to miss something. It's like, come on. It's like, lay down. That, whatever it is, still going to be there. Lay down. So, that's that. Hey, you guys. I just made it to Target. I don't know why. I feel like I still need a library voice, but whatever. Um, I'm sure they just opened, so they haven't really got it, gotten it cracked in yet with a lot of people shopping right now. Because they just opened, whatever. Anyway, um, I'm here at Target just to pick up a couple things, and I'm going straight home to go straight to sleep and I'm going straight the wrong way anyway um I'm the type of person um if anybody out there listening whoever my husband gonna be I want him to know that I'm the type of person that I don't spend all day shopping because in my mind when I'm on my way to these places I get in mind what I'm going to get and I go to the store I grab and I'm ready to go that's why a lot of times, sometimes I like to, um, no, that's why a lot of times, if I could help it, I wish it could be all the time. Um, I like to go shopping by myself because I don't have to wait on anybody. I get what I need to get and I'm out. That's it. Let's go home. That's just the way I like to shop. And you don't have, oh, thank God. That's just the way I like to shop. Said that. Um, I don't like to spend too much time getting... I'm sorry, I'm trying to turn the basket. I don't like to spend too much time in stores trying on every shoe, trying on every piece of clothing. No, I know what I want to get. If it doesn't fit, move on. See if they have it online. Whatever. That's why I think Wish.com, AliExpress, Amazon.com really comes in handy. That's annoying. These pla- still making that noise. Anyway, these places come in handy because I feel like most of the stuff that they don't have at stores, they may have online. So. Quiet. Anyway. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I know what I'm going to get. I'm just going to grab and go and be get this rolled on the show. I don't have to stay here for too long. Plus, I just got off work, so I'm very tired. I'm not going to be here just pussyfooting, getting whatever I don't need. So, excuse me. Um, for a minute there, I thought this cousin was following me. I'm like, don't be following me. <clears throat> Where my voice go? Um, yeah, so... Don't want to waste too much time on here. You guys know I'm at Target already. I'm going to just grab and go, and then I'll be at home. So see y'all there. Bye. Hey, y'all. Home sweet home. So I just made it home from Target. I know I look like a raccoon right now because, um, well, number one, I, um, I got lotion all on my nose. Hold on. Because I just washed my face, and I didn't probably take off my makeup. Oh, well, whatever. Raccoon it is. Anyway, um, let me tell y'all what happened. I would have been home like maybe 15 minutes earlier if my car didn't wasn't restricted. Because after I um, purchased whatever I purchased at Target, I went to go pay for my stuff and my car was restricted. I tried three times and I tried a Capital One ATM. I couldn't use my Bank of America with a Capital One ATM. I'm like, Ugh. So I started to go find one. And I said, wait a minute, let me go to my app. And I saw where it was restricted. So I talked to the guy from Bank of America. He, he lifted the restriction, whatever. I'm back home. Um, 
I'm very tired, you guys. I'm so serious about forcing myself to um, get some sleep this weekend. Dang, look, I had a black eye like I'm in an abusive relationship. Anyway, that honor gets a little crazy. I'm going to get my nails done tomorrow. I'm tired of my nails looking bald-headed. Plus, um, I pick on my cubicles a lot, and I've been doing that ever since 2006. That's why if you, got, if you guys see my fingers, it's not vitiligo. It's just that I've been picking on my fingers a lot and biting it. It's, it's a nervous thing. I do a lot when I'm upset. I do a lot when I'm nervous, and I'm worried about stuff, and I'm stressed. So, um, that's why I'm trying to find other outlets, you know, so I won't be damn in my fingers. I got, I got to put a ring on this one day, and I don't want my fingers being all chewed up. Looking like some kind of deep blue sea creature. I don't know. Anyway, um, so that's that. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. And that's the only thing I'm going to do. Because I need to devote this weekend to just sleeping all day. Hey, I work all week. I can sleep all day for the weekend. I deserve it. Now, if I didn't have a job or if I was like um, lollygagging or not really doing anything with my life, then I would feel funny about sleeping all day. But, uh... Yeah, no. Okay, so you guys, I decided not to go to school this semester because if we're going to be moving soon, I don't really like the look of being in school and have to leave early. If I'm going to go somewhere, if I'm going to do something, I would like to do the whole thing and I would like to see it all the way through because I have a history of quitting things and, and not starting, I mean, starting things and not finishing it. Or just not starting a period. Procrastination and fear and laziness and all that. And I don't want to be that way anymore. So I'm not going to go to school this semester for the fall. Um, I'm kind of disappointed because I want to keep that going. Once I get started, I do want to keep going. So I guess you can call that starting some without finishing it. But I, if we're going to be moving soon and September is going to be our last day in the Valley then I don't want to leave right in the middle of the semester. That's just me, and that's just something that I have. So I have to work on that or whatever. Um, if so, I'll be leaving the house again today, like at 3, to go all the way down to my school slash work to um, make this appointment for the fall semester and to get my fee waiver in and all that. But I decided not to because, um, I don't know, I just don't want to. No, it's not that. It's just that I don't want to leave in the middle of the semester. I know I keep repeating myself over and over again, but you guys know. Whatever. I don't know. Every time I do these videos, I always end up in my closet. Anyway, you guys, um, I'm going to go eat my breakfast. I just got home. I'm going to feed those cats. And then um, I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the day. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm sorry I didn't show you guys everything that I bought at Target. I was just trying to be in and out of there. I was very tired and I really wanted to go home. And I feel like, well, I don't want to be taking care of this on Friday. So let me go ahead and just take, go to Target now and take care of all that stuff now while I'm already out. So that's one of the reasons why I didn't really tape anything inside of Target. But um, I will be uploading a Target haul. So please stay tuned for that. So you guys can see what I got. But it's just that taping around the store and all that. Yeah, I'm just trying, I was just trying to be in and out of there. I'm very tired now. Let me see. But I'm not too tired to eat my Hot Pockets. So, um, <laughs> drink my vitamin water. So, you guys, um, thank you so much for watching. I know this little video was eh, but I hope you guys do like it. Um, thank you so much for the subscribers that did subscribe and all the viewers. Um, and even people who watched it and didn't subscribe. Thanks anyway. One day you will subscribe. Anyway, um, <laughs> peace y'all. Bye.